and I don't claim to dispense any particular pearls of wisdom there. So hello and welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to be talking about a project that I don't think we've mentioned that much and that is the kids album um, that I'm working on. So it's a bunch of songs to get sung um, at children's camps over the summer and a few years back I was asked to put an album together of some of these songs and it was not at the top of the priority list and it didn't get done and it didn't get done which was very bad um, but once I got the other things done that needed to be done first then it's moved to the top of the priority list and we're very very close to finishing it we've got all the main vocals in, we've got all the instrument parts are done and the only thing we haven't done is record group vocals like children singing as part of it which is going to happen when I'm recording this in about a month's time down in Mostar and that hopefully will be a vlog all to itself but I thought today I'd give you a bit of behind the scenes on just what am I doing my god I've got an EP I've got an organ two different bass guitars we've got like a synthy sounding bass and an upright bass sample going together drums we've got some percussion in there which actually we've not used um, then various pads and then all the stuff down here in blue is real audio that's been recorded so the vocals are here and then the guitar parts are here all the stuff that's greyed out when I've recorded the guitar we've got a DI and a mic of the same take basically because I've recorded straight through my pedals on my amp if for some reason I've made a bad choice this is my safety that I've got the same part just as a clean guitar thing and I can reamp that through the computer through something like Amplitude. So it does seem straight out of the box that we've gone a little bit technical here with what I'm talking about and I'm really sorry about that if you are someone who really doesn't care about the recording of audio but I know there's one or two of you out there who are watching who kind of do care and are interested in these kind of things we are trying to create space physically and metaphorically for recording new music here in Bosnia and Herzegovina we're building from the ground up with all the equipment we have and just different ways of recording it these are important things to document each project we do has new challenges and each project we create something new not just the music that we make but the way in which we record that what we prove that's possible when you listen to a whole bunch of children's albums kids albums that have been made they're not rock and roll they're quite a light sounding thing and so making this project is obviously important we want the vocals to be really clear they're sing-along songs for the children to sing along with and uh, we're going to have a bunch of kids singing along with the vocalist here and so yeah there needs to be a lot of space in the mix for that program drums for this was great we've actually programmed all the bass as well i had been given a bunch of the songs and we weren't sure if all the keys were going to be suitable for the vocalist um who at that point was undecided who that was going to be and so if i did all the basic bed tracks just as midi because then i can key change it super fast really wanting to improve the efficiency of how we work how i work in recording um, I'm convinced that we can do more than we've done up to this point if we can work out how to do stuff smarter and faster um, and this project's really been a big part of that. These are the 11 tracks that we have um, for this album. How's this song going? So this song actually needs a little bit more work on it. So there's something not right about the hi-hat stuff that's going on there. This stuff here. And I think, I mean the answer could be to delete it. The other thing we can try just quickly is just to move. That's going to be a lot better like that. And we will change all the other bits that say that similar groove. I'm sure most of us, when we listen to really, really top albums or singles that we've heard, and you hear this amazing voice of a singer, you just think, that's an amazing singer who stepped up to a microphone, and straight away, that was the sound. And it'd be wonderful if that was true. Um, but the more I watch um, interviews and tutorials online with top, top producers who've worked with these wonderful, wonderful singers, the more you realise there's an awful lot that goes on behind the scenes to make that 
oh they stepped up to the microphone and sounded amazing kind of sound and so that's one of the things that I want to be better at that's what I'm doing right now is just putting on um, some different plugins on the vocal track here to just set it in a certain space and uh, just make it be the best it can be so one of the things i will also be doing today is just fixing any little bits of timing or tuning with the singing that just will kind of make it sit exactly right same with the guitars to be honest sounds like all of that in the vocal you're going to automate all of that out um, all the getting ready to play guitar part you're going to edit all that out when you record MIDI instruments digital instruments it's really easy to quantize them and stick them in time and then sometimes you know the live stuff can feel a bit like it's not quite as tight and it's good to tighten it up there is a whole debate if you're into it like is grinding music killing rock and roll this is not rock and roll um, so it doesn't suffer <laughs> but there is something nice and organic about having things that's not totally 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 bang on but then also everyone is so used to hearing really in tune vocals these days that some of the little bit of drift that might have been acceptable in the 70s probably isn't so acceptable these days most of what I'm going to do today will be on the monitors but there's going to be one or two things where we want to just listen in closely to stuff and I'll be on the headphones but it's a lot less fatiguing to work off the speakers and of course really important not to monitor at really high volumes if it's up really loud suddenly you do kind of hear everything and it's all oh, that sounds really good and really exciting but it's a really important test to turn the volume right down in this case can I hear the guitar can I hear the ukulele where's the bass are the drums still there I kind of wasn't intending this to be a massive um, production tutorial and I don't claim to dispense any particular pearls of wisdom there although there's some good advice that I've picked up along the way in amongst all of that um, but that's a little bit of insight of what it means for me to be sitting here and working um, on music and, and, and getting stuff ready to be put out into the world up onto the internet or wherever it goes that's my Saturday this is what I'm going to be doing for most of today but thanks very much for watching do give us a big thumbs up for behind the scenes music production do leave us a comment or question if you want to know more. Um, and do remember that together we do adventure. We'll see you next time.